raceandreplace.com. The data log it was created because, let's be honest, it's not exactly easy to tune your car with this little guy. My data log it is beige, it's the older 1.x series. Some of you may have the universal black box, which is considered the 2.0 series. As long as you have the wideband O2 sensor in your vehicle, it's very important to make sure that you're always using it. Running the car without the O2 sensor on can cause serious damage. We're not going to be using many of the logging and recording features that come with the LM1. Instead, we're going to be using the data log it. Plugging the data log it in is relatively simple. This end of the wire goes down to your power FC while this end you plug your FC commander into. A person with an older laptop will have a serial port on it. If you're that lucky and the laptop runs the software well, you're in good shape. If you purchase the USB version of the data log it, yours is going to come with a cable similar to this one. Make sure you install the software for this onto your laptop prior to hooking everything up. Innovate Motorsports provides a series of software packages called Logworks. You're going to use that programmer to output 0 to 5 volts from about a 9 to 16 AFR rating. When plugging the LM1 sensor into your FC data log, you're going to have a couple different issues to deal with. There's a thin wire that looks like a sound jack that was supplied with the LM1 when you purchased it. You're going to plug that wire into the analog output. The FC data log it has a variety of inputs which allow you to log analog signals such as the LM1. What we did here is we plugged the hot wire, the red wire, into AN1 and then plugged the ground into AN2. When setting it up this way, make sure that you take delta AN1-AN2 on your data log it software. The white wire has the same properties as the red one, so if you don't plan on using anything else, go ahead and make sure you put the two together. It's important that both the LM1 and your data log it have the exact same output and input. Having different values between the two units will result in incorrect AFRs and ultimately can give you bad advice on how to tune your car. There's a good chance that the LM1 and the data log it will actually read different values. If that's the case, make sure to program it accordingly.